to the International Space Station. Those it's a goal NASA expected to reach seven years ago. And after costly delays, Boeing is ready to launch a crewed test flight of its Starliner spacecraft. Amongst the team is Canadian astronaut Joshua Kutrick, who will pass along communication to the pilots on board. So the first 60 minutes of this new spaceship in flight, we've been training for years. Uh, there's a lot that goes into it. There's a lot of risk. The stakes are high. This test run is vital for Kutrick, who is set to be on the first operational mission for the Starliner. That's scheduled for next year. Three, two. But it won't happen unless the test mission is successful. Boeing saw its first uncrewed shot at the International Space Station fail in 2019 due to a number of software and engineering glitches. Those were resolved in a 2022 flight as NASA aims to set up commercial launches with this spacecraft as well as SpaceX's Crew Dragon. Just as we're trying to create space taxis to low Earth orbit, very soon with a, a permanent human habitation on the moon, you're going to want that equivalent space taxi capability to the moon. The Dragon has already made more than three dozen visits to the ISS with its first successful flight four years ago. And pressures from its airline business make this launch much more significant for Boeing's reputation. That they're still in the game, right? That they haven't lost it, that they've still got their mojo, they can still um, uh, be that that partner that, that NASA and the broader space economy needs. According to NASA's Inspector General, per seat costs on the Starliner could run more than $120 million once it's ready to take commercial passengers. Kyle Benning, Global News.